okay, it's raining, but the sky is actually super bright. That's usually a sign that it would stop. Let's see if that actually happens, huh? And what did I read today? Seems like there were a lot of news about the US wanting to ban DJI products again. There was that bit yesterday about the US wanting to implement things like that drone act in terms of criminalizing dangerous drones. But this one specifically targeting, I guess, Chinese Communist Party products and so forth, I guess you could say, or ones that they have control over, which is pretty much everything, isn't it, over in China? Here it says, Rubio Scott Cotton Stefanik introduced legislation to counter Chinese drones. U.S. Senators Marco Rubio, Rick Scott, and Tom Cotton introduced the Countering CCP Drones Act to add Chinese Communist Party affiliated drone company Dajiang Innovation (DGI) to the Federal Communications Commission's covered list. The list identifies telecommunication equipment that poses a threat to America's national security and bans it from U.S. communications infrastructure. Earlier this week, the Washington Post confirmed that the Chinese government is an investor in DJI, which supplies more than 50% of the drones sold in the U.S., directly contradicting DJI's prior public statements. And as they say here, it's all about data. It says the Chinese drone maker DJI repeatedly lied about its links to the Chinese Communist Party while collecting vast quantities of Americans' data, Rubio said. The FCC should act immediately to further ban DJI by adding it to its covered list. Communist China funds technology like drones made by DJI to spy on Americans and steal their data, Scott said. The United States government should under no circumstance purchase drones made in Communist China and put our national security at risk and that's why my colleagues and I introduced the American Security Drone Act. So it's one of those things where I don't think anyone's surprised at this point, are they? Where any product made in China, they're controlled by, I guess, the Chinese Communist Party if they really want to. At the same time, I guess one of the arguments would be, is that true everywhere else in the world for any big company in terms of selling things like data and all that? Now, in terms of the article they were referencing, it was this one here. It says, drone company DJI obscured ties to Chinese state funding. Documents show. So it deals like with an investor here. It says, the funds that list DJI as an investment include China Chengtong Holdings Group, which is directly administered by Beijing's state-owned assets supervision and administration commission, a ministerial level organization tasked by China's state council to manage the country's state-owned enterprises. If SASAC isn't the PRC, People's Republic of China government, I don't know what is. If SASAC has invested in you, that means the Chinese government has invested in you, said Charles Rollett, the IPVM analyst who uncovered the links between DJI and China Chengtong which invested in DJI through an emerging technologies fund, according to the company documents. It directly contradicts what DJI spokespeople have been touting to allay concerns around the Chinese government. Rollett said, DJI has been saying they have no Chinese government investments. This evidence directly contradicts that. So if this is true, I guess that's not good news for a DJI and so forth. But it makes you wonder, in terms of market share, consumers, would you as an individual continue to use things like DJI products or would you be concerned just in general where if they're going to ban it, then you're going to have a product that's not usable ultimately if you want to use it for things like, I guess, government work and all that? With that in mind, I know there's all that news about the Ukraine and stuff where people like the US, they're really in some kind of dispute with Russia and all that. And it says here, China joins Russia in opposing NATO expansion. So this doesn't sound good, I guess, for overall world peace, if that's what you want to say. It looks like every country is going to fight each other in some way. So what does this entail? It says the two countries said they were seriously concerned about the AUKUS security pact between the US, UK, and Australia. Announced last year, AUKUS will see Australia build nuclear-powered submarines as part of efforts to boost security in the Asia-Pacific region. It is largely seen as an effort to counter China, which has been accused of raising tensions in disputed territories such as the South China Sea. Meanwhile, Russia said it supported Beijing's One China policy, which asserts that self-ruled Taiwan is a breakaway province that will eventually be part of China again. Who knows how this will turn out? But again, lots of politics and stuff playing a role in these, I would assume. 
And in terms of updates and stuff about the hard drive, it wasn't about the data, but they were just telling me here that it was still under warranty, saying here, just so you know that the original drive that you sent in the data recovery was still under warranty and a replacement order was placed for you. And with that, I will receive a separate message, I guess, about the replacement hard drive once they ship it. And at the same time, they're still working on the one for the data recovery to see what they could actually get back. So, I guess little baby steps with this at least. Oh, the birds recognize me, it's coming here. That's awesome. What the heck? Yep, the sun's definitely coming out here. Alright, see you guys later.